bubblegum paper and I'm back with another card in my 25 cards in 25 days holiday card series. I'll put a link to the playlist in the upper right corner so you can see all the cards I've made so far. Today I'm here with card number 16 and I'm featuring products from Simon Says Stamp. Now I'm running a little behind in my card series so this is a super quick and easy card. Here's a close-up of what the card looks like and let's get started. The products I'm using in today's card are the Simon Says Stamp Deco Tree Die and their Stitched Rectangle Dies. Now there's no stamping in today's card, so what I'm going to start with is all my die cutting. I'm starting with the largest stitched rectangle, and then I'm taking the Deco Tree and I'm die cutting it in three places on that stitched rectangle card. So um, the Art Deco Die is actually really, really pretty, but it's also super intricate, so some of the little curly cues get stuck on each other. So here I'm using a paper piercer to try to really take the die off and not rip anything. Now I'm just going to take it and um, cut it out on the left side, and I did the right and the left first so that it would help me center it. You can also measure um, at the exact center of the card and then start with the center tree but I was in a hurry, so I did the right side first, and then I did the left side, and then I'm gonna go in and do the center. So the center, you can see like the little edge is going to get cut out, so you won't, um, if I were to use this die from the center, my tree wouldn't have angular corners in the lower right and left. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting this out, and then I'm gonna use one of my right and left trees to fill in that center space. Next, I'm going to trim down some gold glitter cardstock. This is the cardstock I used in one of my previous cards, and I just had it sitting on my table. So I grabbed that, and it was actually the perfect um, size. I just had to trim part of it off. And now I'm using this really strong tape from Korea. It's called Suk Wang Tape or Score Tape. And it's super thin, it's about an eighth of an inch um, wide. And I'm just using this and really taping down this die cut piece because I'm putting it number one on glitter paper which is hard to glue to but number two I just want to make sure um, the trees themselves the die cut of the trees are really secure so now I'll glue that panel directly onto the glitter cardstock and then I'm going to take that center tree and I'm just adding some foam adhesive so that it'll stand up just a little bit um, from the background. So I'm just finding all the places where there's a little bit of white um, You know paper so that it won't shine through and it's it's like very tiny spaces But I'm just putting foam adhesive wherever I can and then I'll glue this tree to the center of the card Now before I glue down the center tree I'm cutting off all the little white curly cues from that center Tree. Now if I had done this um, ahead of time, I would have used my X-Acto knife to get a perfect cut, but I didn't think of it until after everything was glued down. So, and the reason why I did it is I actually want to show gold curly cues on this white center tree. So I figured this was the easiest way to do it, which was to get rid of the existing white curly cues, and then that way the gold will shine through, and it will look like gold curly cues. So now I'm just taking off all that foam adhesive and then I'm going to adhere the tree to the center. Next I'm going to take these little pearl embellishments and I'm just going to stick them in the center of each of the curly cues. And there, I have two different sizes on this sheet. There's the little tiny ones which I'll put on the smaller curly cues and then there's the larger ones which, larger ones, which I'll put on the lower curly cues. And I'm using this thing called a quick stick. I think it's from We Are Memory Keepers. And it actually picks up these embellishments because you can see it, my fingers are having a hard time playing with them. But the quick stick has this little gummy tip on it and it picks up the embellishments and then it helps me lay it down. So I'll just zoom in a little so you can see all the detail of the glitter and the pearls. I think it's really fun and easy and pretty. And for my final step, I'm taking a standard A2 size card, I'm folding it in half, and then I'm using some foam adhesive and just taping that to the back of the glitter sheet so that I can prop it up a little and give it some more dimension. 
So here are two close-ups of the finished card. As I mentioned, this was a quick and easy card, so you could make tons and tons of these to give away. Um, thank you all so much for watching yet another card of my 25 cards in 25 days card series. If you're interested in more, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can follow me on social media at Bubblegum Paper or visit my blog at bubblegumpaper.com. Here are links to my two most recent card videos in the series, cards number 14 and 15. Just click on the images and it'll take you straight to the videos. Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye!